Hello and welcome to the 11 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Sarah Lebrick. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa sent a congratulation cable to the custodian of the two holy mosques, His Majesty King Salman bin Abdul Aziz Al Saud, in which he congratulated him on the occasion of the second anniversary of pledging allegiance to the Saudi King to assume the reins of governance. His Majesty King Hamad highlighted the deep-rooted historic relations between the two countries, hailing the development march and the successive achievements in Saudi Arabia and the wise leadership of its king, which guaranteed continued advancement and growth in the country. His Majesty King Hamad wished His Majesty King Salman abundant health and his country further development and prosperity. His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa received at Sakhir Palace today His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Majesty congratulated His Royal Highness on the successful medical checkups he underwent, wishing him abundant health and happiness to continue his generous efforts in serving the country and his people. He praised the role of His Royal Highness and his contributions in enhancing the progress and prosperity of the kingdom, as well as strengthening the government's action to achieve further accomplishments in all sectors, expressing appreciation to His Royal Highness's keenness in maintaining national gains. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Majesty the King for his concern and follow-up during the medical checkup process. He affirmed his keenness to exert more efforts to serve Bahrain and his people under the wise directives of His Majesty the King, pointing out that the government is always keen to achieve further progress in order to provide the best service and achieve high living standards for Bahrain and its people. The meeting also included discussions on topics regarding the National March of the Kingdom. His Majesty affirmed that, that the country will continue the development progress with the support of its people, expressing pride in what the kingdom achieved in its various fields. He wished success, security and stability for the Kingdom of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today at Ghadaybiyah Palace. The Royal Highness has reviewed a number of topics related to national affairs in line with the government's approach to adopting more initiatives to improve the services provided to citizens. The Royal Highness has also affirmed that the government is keen on achieving these set goals through the advancement of all challenges. They also exchanged New Year's congratulations, voicing hope for the new year to be one of safety, stability and development. During the meeting, the latest regional and international developments were also reviewed. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa chaired the weekly cabinet meeting today at the Ghadaybiya Palace. In the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Premier expressed his thanks and appreciation to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for his follow-up during His Royal Highness's medical checkups. He also expressed thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and to the leaders of neighboring countries as well as the citizens of the Kingdom of Bahrain 
Bahrain for their kind sentiments that represent a clear evidence of the unity and cohesion between the leadership and the people of Bahrain. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince congratulated on behalf of himself and the cabinet His Royal Highness the Prime Minister for the occasion of uh, leaving the hospital after a successful medical checkup. He wished His Royal Highness the Premier lasting good health and wellness to continue his huge role and contribution in the nation's development progress in all fields. On the occasion of the second anniversary of pledging allegiance to the custodian of the two holy mosques, King Salman bin Abdulaziz Al Saud, to assume the reins of governance, His Royal Highness the Prime Minister hailed the achievements of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of its monarch, which have strengthened its leading role both regionally and internationally. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister went on to laud the wise leadership of the Saudi King in re dealing with crucial issues concerning the Arab world. His Royal Highness congratulated Antonio Guterres for being appointed as the new UN Secretary General. He wished him success in achieving all the goals of the United Nations in promoting international peace and security. He also affirmed that investigations are underway regarding the incident of the armed attack on Joe Reformation and Rehabilitation Center, stressing the government's determination in dealing with such crimes and their prevention by the implementation of procedures that ensure security and stability, as well as bringing the perpetrators to justice to receive the retribution. In a related matter, the cabinet condemned the terrorist attack of Istanbul that targeted innocent civilians, affirming the Kingdom of Bahrain stands so with Turkey in the measures to be taken to preserve its security and stability. The Cabinet approved adopting the National Plan to raise the efficiency of energy and the National Plan for Renewable Energy, which was submitted by the Natural Resources and Economic Security Committee under the chairmanship of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander and First Deputy Premier, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. The Cabinet also approved a number of other recommendations submitted by the committee. The Cabinet reviewed a new draft law regarding press and electronic media, which will substitute a Law 47 of 2002 that regulates press, printing and publications. Among the most important features of the new draft law is that it regulates media institutions' utilizations of electronic media. It also bans the uh, confinement of media and press figures for the charges noted in the draft law. It also bans the dismissal of media and press figures without notifying the Ministry of Information Affairs and the professional body of press and media sector employees a month early and without providing justification for the dismissal. The draft law also incriminates whoever assaults media or press figures and sentences them with the same punishment for whoever assaults a public employee during work. After the Minister of Information Affairs presentation about the draft law, the Cabinet referred it to the Ministerial Committee for Social Services, Communication and Media under the chairmanship of the Deputy Premier, Sheikh Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa. The Cabinet referred uh, to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs a memorandum of understanding between the Ministry of Education in Bahrain and the Council of Higher Education in Turkey regarding cooperation in the fields of higher education and scientific research. The Cabinet also referred to the Ministerial Committee for Legal Affairs a memorandum of understanding between the Supreme Council for Islamic Affairs and the Russian uh, Muftis Shura Council. The Cabinet approved the awarding of beneficiaries certificates of merit for housing units and apartments as well as other housing projects after they are approved by the government or during construction. His Royal Highness said the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a cable from His Royal Highness the Crown Prince, Deputy Supreme Commander, First Deputy Premier Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulating him on the successful medical checkup His Royal Highness recently underwent, wishing him abundant health. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince said that the successful results of medical checkup was a source of pleasure as it provides assurance of the Prime Minister's uh, continuation of the nation's development march under the leadership of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa. Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness the Crown Prince highlighted the competent and reasonable or re responsible role of His Royal Highness the Premier in leading and administering the government work and His Royal Highness's contributions in the Kingdom's achievements and development. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a telephone call from the Emir of Kuwait, His Highness Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabir Al Sabah, congratulating him on the successful medical checkups he recently underwent and for leaving the hospital in good health. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister expressed thanks and appreciation to His Highness the Emir of Kuwait for his concern, saying that it reflects the deep rooted relations between Bahrain and Kuwait. Their Highnesses highlighted the development of the two countries under their wise leaderships.